Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and today's video marks the first day that we're actually going to be start including iOS and macOS operating systems. So today's video, we're going to show you how to set up your email in the mail app on iOS. Let's get to it. All right, guys, now that we're over here at the computer, you can see I've got an iPhone right here on the actual screen. And so this is one of our first videos. We're gonna start releasing more of them, whether they're iOS or Mac operating system devices, which is super cool. In today's video, we've got the iPhone and we're gonna show you how to set up a mail or an email account on the mail app. And so what you're gonna to want to do, now this is a live demonstration of what I'm actually doing. So I've got the phone right here. You can see that if I, if I swipe through everything, it updates. So I'm gonna be looking down a lot at the phone, but just know that what I'm doing exa is exactly right here on the screen. So again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on mail. If you don't have mail, you will wanna visit the app store to download it. Uh, it do looks like it does require a, um, an Apple ID account. So you wanna make sure you get that all set up under your uh, app store. But once you've got it downloaded, it does come with a, typically it comes with really any op uh, iOS operating system. I don't think I've ever seen one where it didn't actually come with it default installed. In any case, if you do not have it, download it and then go ahead and proceed. So we're gonna click on mail. And you can see right here, it's gonna choose or it's gonna ask you what type of uh, email provider that you have, whether it's iCloud, Exchange, Google, Yahoo, AOL, or Outlook, those are the common ones. If you do have something off the wall, such as like CenturyLink or uh, Bell South or something like that, you'll need to go down and click on other and set it up that way. However, today's demonstration, we're gonna use Yahoo. So we're gonna click on Yahoo. And then of course, it's gonna go ahead and ask for the information. I'm gonna type in the test account that I've created for this demonstration. And then of course, once you've got the email in there, go ahead and type in your password. There we go. And once you've got logged in, it's gonna ask you to toggle the switches that you want to back up the information. We're just gonna do mail today, so I'm gonna to toggle out all the rest of them except for mail. As you can see, you can't even toggle off mail because it does, it is the default, so it's going to set. Then you wanna click save on the top right corner, and it's gonna tell you account added, and it's gonna start checking the servers for the mail. You will probably wanna do this, uh, if you're doing this for the first time on Wi-Fi, just because downloading all of your inbox at once could be pretty heavy, uh, not only on the battery, but also if you have limited data, so be careful with that. Once it goes through and downloads everything, while that's downloading, I'm gonna kinda of give you a demonstration of, of how to kind of uh, go through and set everything up or whatever. So if you wanna type a new email, in the bottom right hand corner, you've got look, what looks to be like a square sticky note with a pencil on it, you'll click on that, and that will come up with the, uh, your basic email information that you can go through, type it out. This is a default signature that you can go through and delete if you don't want that on there, put whatever you want. So that's how to do it. Then, of course, once you've got your email ready to go, you can click send in the top right hand corner, or you can click on cancel, and then it's gonna ask you if you want to delete or save the draft. I'm just gonna delete this one. And it looks like most of it has always uh, already finished. And if you look at the bottom, it'll tell you updated just now, 662 unread. So it kind of gives you an update on um, when the last time your email was synced across. If you do want to resync it fresh, I think you could just scroll down, just do what I'm doing here, like with the motion here, and you'll notice the little wheel at the top will go through and refresh. So. Uh, Looks like right down here at the bottom left, you can go ahead and organize. You can filter it between unread and not unread, uh, flagged. Looks like you've got a bunch of options there. You can go in, you can click edit, which means you can go in and select the ones you want. You can either mark them, move them, or put them in the trash. And then if you go to mailboxes, you can create different mailboxes or check individual folders that you have. So if you accidentally put something in the trash, you can go in, click on trash, and get it out of there again. Um, and of course you can go through, click edit, and you can create your own mailboxes if you'd like. And uh, from what it looks like, there is no way to add a secondary email in the app itself. So what you'll wanna do is, what if you're like, hey, I have a second email, I wanna add that, simple. Just hit your home button, go to setting, and then scroll on down to passwords and accounts. And then you're gonna see right here where it says Yahoo and add account. Of course, you're gonna wanna click add account and then it will take you to the same process as you did before. Select the account you want, add the username, password, and then set everything up just like we did. And uh, that's just a quick rundown of how to use and set up the mail app on iOS. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked the video, found it useful, give it a like, give it a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, question of the day, what kind of Mac OS or iOS how-to videos would you like to see? Leave your answer in the comment section below as well and hit the subscribe and we will see you on the next one.